Today we are discussing about the difference between the inner join versus differential join in the calculation view. Okay. To explain this scenario, what I am taking, I taken a table with my transactional data of around eight records and another table with material master data with these four entries. I am going to join these two tables based upon the material as a key uh, key join condition. Okay. So to bring the material description from the material table in my output. So to do this, uh, you know, output, I created a calculation view with the uh, two nodes. One is the sales data, transactional data, and the node contains projection node contains material master. And I create, I added one project uh, join node, and I did the join based upon material as a join condition. And the join uh, type which I am using currently is the inner join. So with this uh, calculation view, the output is gen will be generated in this way. So if I execute this uh, um, uh, output of the calculation view, I am getting six records. Out of eight records in my transactional table, I got only six records. Why? Because uh, because we are using inner join as per the definition, the common records between both tables will come as an output. So out of these uh, materials, M5 and M20 are not present in my master data. So what happens? Uh, inner join will give only the M1, M2, M3 records only as an output. So for that reason, what I got only, I got six records and two records got eliminated. Okay. So this is the raw data output of my calculation view. So if we go to the analytics tab and trying to do, you know, aggregation on different levels, this is the customer master data. This is the custom. Uh, if I want to uh, check my quantity with respect to customer and material, this is my output. And here also you see M1, M2, M3 materials are coming under C1, C2, C3, C4 customers for all these customers. Okay. So this is one kind of view of, you know, data. If I want to check my data only at material level, then data will further aggregate to M1, M2, M3 materials. And this was my output. And I did one more, you know, kind of view where I am showing the material description. On the previous two outputs, material and customer and material, I am showing at the uh, only at this level. But uh, in this output, I brought mid description, material description also into the output. So this is my output. So there is nothing much new in this outputs. We are pretty new because of inner join. Every time we will get data only for M1, M2 and M3 materials. Okay. Now, um, so let's uh, see once the calculation view. Okay, so if I if we go to the calculation view, so this is my calculation view, and you see this is the transactional data, mass data, and everything. I am doing a data preview here, and just to, to show the output, I am going to raw data. I am getting the these six records out of eight records. Okay, now what we are the, going to learn how exactly this inner join is different difference with respect to the referential join. Okay, this we need to learn. So when coming to referential join, as per the definition of referential join, what exactly it means? When we're using referential join in our calculation view, whenever we need data from the, uh, to explain this, I, th I think it is a good year if I explain it. Okay, so in the referential join, if, uh, the join will be applied only when we request the fields from the second uh, second table. It means if you see the output of, uh, this is the referential join output. If you see the raw data output of my referential join, it is also bringing exactly six records, which is equal to the output of my inner join, correct? And if you see the output of this customer and material, uh, you know, aggregation level, here you see, here I got M5 and M20 also. But whereas in the inner join, I am not getting M5 and M10. So why, why, why in the referential join I am getting M5 and M20 also in my output? Because uh, as per the definition of referential join, if we are not requesting the uh, columns from the second tables, second join table, then join won't perform. To improve the performance, it will fetch all data from the first table. Okay, so my primary table is my transactional data, and secondary table is my second uh, is the secondary table second table. Ma trans I'm sorry, master data is my secondary table. Since in this particular uh, output, uh, since I am not requesting any columns from my second table, that is master data, join does not perform, and it will fetch all data from my first table. Due to that reason, you are seeing here M5 and M20 also. Okay, now coming to this uh, this output, whereas I am getting five records here also material and quantity. So I am checking the data at material level. 
so here also i am not requesting any field from my second table so here also join won't perform even though you did the you designed your calculation view with the uh, referential join join doesn't perform and it will fetch all data from your first table okay now coming to the last output here here i requested the column from the second table which is material description since i am requesting the column from the second table this time system will perform the join operation and due to the join operation now the m5 and m20 materials got excluded from my output in the first uh, in the first output since i have made material description from the second table here also join got performed my second table no join it's simply data from the first table and my third uh, screenshot here also there is no join directly data from the first table and my last table again join performed and only the uh, com uh, common data between both tables as an output so now this is uh, here we can easily understand how inner join vets are uh, you know referential join outputs varies now we will uh, you know learn in more detail like uh, we want to see practically whether join is performing or not right so if you want to see more details now we will see how to create a calculation view with referential join in order to create a calculation view with referential join so what you need to do on the join node double click on this uh, join you know um, one this uh, join operator double click on it on the definition it is very important whenever you are changing the join type to referential join it is important for you to define the cardinality if you don't define the cardinality then uh, referential join doesn't work as expected okay if you don't define the cardinality then referential join doesn't work out whenever you are using referential join it is important to you know define the cardinality properly and next thing is uh, click on ok so when you click on when you change this to referential join you see the Venn diagram whatever we see on the node it is still showing like an inner join it means we can with this Venn diagram we can think it like it is an inner join but a referential uh, like by, when we see the CV we cannot say whether it is an inner join or referential join so we need to go here to the, the join type uh, properties to check it properly okay now what i am going simple okay before going to the inner join first uh, referential join first uh, let me explain a bit about inner join okay so how i am going to explain here what i am doing is i am debugging my calculation you know to show you that to proving at least that a system is trying to access data from both tables when i use inner join how i can prove that so right click on your calculation view generate select sql click on this symbol now what will happen system will create a um, select statement on our calculation view now what we are going to do select your query right click on it click on the explain plan so now what happens when you click on the explain plan system is will explain us how exactly the calculation will happen at runtime in order to bring our output so if you see here what happened so this is our uh, select statement now in this select statement sap is saying this is the schema where our tables are and these are the tables which sap is accessing at runtime and uh, these are the table types and these two tables are of type column table so you can see at runtime sap is triggering these two tables okay na? to bring data from the calculation view now what is happening here uh, since I am uh, selecting raw data, so it is coming like this. Now I want to change my, uh, you know, the select statement. I am removing my description column from the uh, select statement to show you this. So to in order to, you know, instead of deleting it, I am commenting this. Now what will happen if I execute this calculation, uh, this uh, select statement, you see there is no description but still you see data is coming only for m1 m2 m3 materials okay now to explain more what i'm going to do again i'm going for general explain plan and uh, we are seeing how exactly system is doing now also system is trying to access both tables so if it is accessing both tables it means it is performing the join condition so how i am telling join condition you see there is a hash join operator here which is performing the join operation okay uh, to bring data from these two tables so now so far we understand okay sap is accessing both tables in order to bring data from the um, for this select statement now quickly jump into the referential join uh, understanding so click on the join node 
now change this joint type from inner joint to referential joint and cardinality was maintained. Now activate your calculation view. And uh, before I am explaining this one, uh, just uh, let's take a screenshot uh, here so that uh, we get to know correctly. So I am taking a screenshot before screenshot, like uh, before we do changes here. So I am taking a screenshot here to explain that uh, when we are using inner join, we are fetching data from both tables. Okay, I am going to keep this screenshot somewhere here. Okay, so I am keeping it here like this. This is before one. Now go to here. So now I changed my join type to referential join. Now I am trying to execute my data preview. I am closing these to this one and I am doing the data preview. Now in the data preview, if I go to raw data, so the raw data output was not changed. Still M1, M2, M3 came and these three are coming. Okay. Now what I am going to do next. Now I am going to do again generate select statement. Select SQL and then doing a explain plan on this one. So if you see here, there is no difference. Exactly it is similar to the first output of inner join. Still SAP is accessing both tables for this select statement. Okay, and this is the sales data for type of everything. Now, now the point comes into picture. Now what I'm doing, I'm removing this description, the column from the second table, I'm removing from the output. Now go for explain plan. Now let's see. So now you see here uh, what happened. Mm, one minute. Here what happening is still you are seeing it. Why you are seeing it? Because uh, there is a small problem. Uh, in the select statement, there is a group by class. You see group by. In the group by, still you are using description column. Right? So for that reason, uh, it is still working. But let me uh, disable this uh, description and try to do explain plan one more time. Because to understand better, we must do it this way. You see, uh, whenever whenever I am removing the second column, second table presents completely from my select statement, I remove the description here and in the group by also. So completely, this select statement is completely bring, fetching data from the first table only. There is no presence of second table at all. So in this play case, what happened? My explain plan is simply telling I am fetching data only from one table. There is no join. You see, there is no join operator. Now, when we compare this uh, particular output with our first output, then you can understand SAP is doing the join or not. Okay. So I'm going to my X here. I'm pasting this uh, screenshot here. Now you see clearly in when we are using the inner join here, you see first one is the projection. Uh, first one is the projection node and then there is a hash join and then you have two tables, uh, two fields like this. Almost five steps are there. But whenever you are doing this, uh, no, we have only max two, two columns. So by this you can simply say there is no join happening here and also only one table is accessing December sales to there is no DEC material mass data table is accessing by the select query. Okay, I hope it is clear. It's a very simple example to understand a better way of how referential join will work in a, uh, uh, in a real time. Okay, so only when uh, so when we are using referential join, only when we access the data from the second table, the join will be uh, performed. And whenever we are not reading any of the column from the second table, join won't happen, and um, you know the performance will be faster. So generally, when exactly this kind of referential join will be helpful for us in kind of master data. Okay, so in transaction data it won't work out, but when you are bringing master, whenever we are doing this master data joins, so if you don't want any material description, if you don't want any material attributes or customer attributes, then in those such cases, there is no need to perform join and waste time in the join operation. Okay, sometimes our material master data also will uh, contains millions of records. In such cases, uh, whenever we don't need any of these uh, material attributes in our reporting scenario, we can avoid such kind of joins to improve the performance of our uh, calculation use. So I hope it is clear. Closing this.